Uh, how did we get here? Uh, Dragon Ball Super Episode 100. How did we get here? God damn it. Uh, it's short. Episode 100. I already have my problems with Dragon Ball Super. But episode 100 broke my heart, man. God damn it, Dragon Toriyama. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Toriyama does not need to be involved with Dragon Ball Z, period. I'm going to call it Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, period. Because he is still using the same damn formula. And now with episode... Matter of fact... You know what? He's not using the. It's not even the same formula anymore. It's some a whole different type of script, which don't, don't even make sense. How do that Saiyan Brawly chick able to take on Goku like this? Then fucking Jiren come out of nowhere and kick her ass. One kicking wins. How is that possible? And he's super sin blue. What the fuck is going on? Then you have this other super sin chick able to go hand in hand with Goku super sin. And it's my man. Oh man. The, and the other thing is Goku. It took him Frieza killing Krillin. To transform into Super uh, Super Saiyan One, Vegeta had to go through all that bullshit hearted just to become a Super Saiyan. Gohan had to go in the, uh, in, the in that time chamber to become a, all that hard training to become a Super Saiyan. Then those other Saiyan, I don't know where they're able to get it like that, just like that, or because it's from the back. Why? It it devalues the meaning of being a Super Saiyan. Remember how I remember how Vegeta, Vegeta used to talk about Super Saiyan, how, how it was this grand grand thing for a Saiyan to achieve, you know? And now it's easy for these new guys just to become Super Saiyan like that. And I don't know where she becomes Super Saiyan too. Come on, man! This is ruining the show. Dragon Ball GT was. It had its problem, but I'm gonna say this. Even if some people probably don't agree with me, Dragon Ball GT was the better show in this crap right here. At least Super Saiyan 4 wasn't all. Come on, Super Saiyan Blue is supposed to be at a god level. You got trained by Beerus Sama. And, um. For, for, I'm so pissed right now, I don't even know, remember the other dude's name. And Super Saiyan Blue is like the value. It's like basically, you just made Super Saiyan Blue the same level as even a regular Saiyan. It's ridiculous. And you got these guys, you got Gohan, Piccolo, Master Roshi, and all these other guys staying in a corner, just doing nothing, not even utilizing these guys, man. Come on. You bring Freezer back, at least show the character doing something. Once in a while, you just show a pick up Freezer. What the hell is going on with the show? So now, you, I, I, I bet you now, they're gonna make a, another transformation besides Super Saiyan Blue. There's too many fucking transformations, man. And if you're gonna make that transformation, make it impossible for any other character to achieve, to be able to withstand a fight against Goku. What the hell is going on? This show is not making sense. I don't know what Toriyama's doing, if, he, if he's, involved, he's involved in the show and what's going on, but this is not the Dragon Ball Z I knew, and it is going down here. I said it, be, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to keep repeating myself, he needs to let go of Dragon Ball Z and let a new blood write the show, because it is, what the, it's ridiculous, it doesn't make sense. My kid don't even like it, okay, it don't make sense, okay, Super Saiyan, you're supposed to be powerful, man. And if you, matter of fact, if you're gonna bring out that brawly god uh, creature, jeez, uh, 
I don't even know what else to say about this joint because it just pissed me off how they carrying the show right now, how, what route they're going. The stories don't make sense. They, it's like they don't know where they're going with this whole universe. If you want to make the fight interesting, make Goku fight somebody interesting, not somebody that is just holding Goku in the head like that. Super Saiyan Blue, oh. Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue should be able to just flick that other switch, that Broly Saiyan chick, like, just flick her off the, the, the ring. But she, she is holding him one hand in the head, squeezing him, he's screaming. What kind of bullshit is this? But she does not get no shine. Gohan not getting no shine. Fuck. When are we gonna get better Dragon Ball? If, 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 if that's what they're gonna do to bring back Dragon Ball Z and not work on better stories, like I said before, this. That. Alright, look at that One Punch Man. The character is OP. He's under, he's unbeatable, and they still manage to make a story out of that. Even though it's a, a spoof, they still manage to get a story out of it. It's not, it, I'm not, it's not impossible to have OP characters and make stories out of it. Come on, these stories nowadays. There's other anime with st great stories, and it keeps getting better. They don't stick, even though they st they stick to one formula, but they, the stories keep getting better. They don't keep making stupid mistake like that a lot of the Dragon Ball Z fans are not the same age anymore man we grown up over the time when Dragon Ball Z was uh, was gone there's other anime that came out that picked our interest and one thing that hurt makes me mad, uh, angry the most about this is Dragon Ball Z to some uh, to me and I don't know who else but some other people was our gateway to anime and now to see this happening to the show is ridiculous man dragon ball dragon ball z all the other movies that came out gt you know and i, I i'm still watch these i'm still rep gt even though it, you know, people didn't like it but bring back the super saiyan for all i care man it's stupid man how, how are they doing the show dirty? It is real stupid. It's possible to make great anime. You know, back in the day, Dragon Ball Z, you had great shows like Trigun, Outlaw Star, um, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, Big O, Wolf Rain, even Rony Kenshin, all these other shows, but they were good, great, great story, uh, Cowboy Bebop, all these other shows, they were great stories, but at the end of the day, Dragon Ball Z was still at the top. If you ask anybody, they knew who a Dragon Ball Z was. And now, this show is getting killed, slowly. Story-wise, character-wise, animation is still okay, but the story's getting killed. Remember, Animation wise, it's still, I'm tired of the whole, you know, stand up thing. Get to the fight scene already. We passed that. I'm still, I'm past that age, man. Upgrade the show. Make better script. It's possible. Because it, 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 I know Dragon Ball Z had, like, uh, as as a, a product, that Dragon Ball Z has generated a lot of money as far as selling video games, um, toys, um, comic books. It generates a lot of stuff. So for Toriyama and his crew to do something like that to the show is ridiculous. They can do better. Yeah, I'm fucking tired, man. Let let Vegeta shine. Let's go. Let go and shine. Do something with the show and stop making stupid mi mi mistake like that. That's that's really a stupid mistake to write a script where a Super Saiyan Blue can be. Oh uh, man, jeez. And for you to have a girl who just trains. How long did, if, if 48, 48, how long did, I know they had like at least 48 hours before the tournament. And that girl mastered that, so to me, during, during that week, the girl was able to master being a Super Saiyan and all of a sudden be able to be a Super Saiyan. Vegeta, who was a, a genius fighter, 
Goku is a martial art, one top martial artist, still wasn't able to master Super Saiyan for a while. You know? Ridiculous, man. Huh. Well, guys, that was my rant. In regards to Dragon Ball Super Episode 100, totally pissed me off. I know a lot of people out there feel the same way. If you feel the same way, please leave a comment down below. I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reaction. Damn, man. God damn. Dragon Ball, man. See you guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.